Yeah, this is Big Red number 12. So in the last book that we did was five years ago. So it's been a while, but it takes a while to get one of these books put together. We've been working on it for more than four years. And so we've been gathering trends and what's new and hot, you know, the whole time, you know, way before we even start working on the book, just start gathering those things. And what we need to kind of do, which is kind of interesting, is try to project because the book won't be out for four years after we're working on it. What will be hot? What will be exciting? What will people want to be cooking then? And so that's kind of the challenge and the excitement of, of adding what's new. And it's really fun to see like some of these things now that were put into this book starting to appear. Like I just saw some articles on Czech Shuka the other day. I'm like, yes, we got that. You know, so it's really exciting that way. This is months of work in the photo studios. We have photo studios here at General Mills, months of work. So like five photographers, seven photo assistants, 13 food stylists to make all these um, photographs as beautiful as they are and to get them. And we have all kinds of really helpful how-to photographs too throughout that will like zero in on one technique for a specific recipe and show you exactly what you need to be able to make that recipe work. And the, so the images really help. It's like we, you're trying to explain something. Oh, I can see it right there. It makes it so much easier. So, it, and then it's, and then it's laying it all out. It's like putting a puzzle together. How will the feet pieces fit? You know, and we, we really worked at any time there was any space, what else could we fill? What else would people want to know about? What's the difference between grass-fed and grain-fed beef? Or what is pearled barley versus hulled barley? Or here's three more ideas for how to use canned corn or things like that. So we just jam-packed it full.